Welcome back to my studio. This is Arizona Rock Garden Designs with me, Julie E. And I hope you all had a really great Christmas weekend. I did. Um, it was pretty much uneventful and quite a bit like a day like any other day when my husband has off work. So, there you go. Um, today, I am going to be working on a 12 by 12 staple back canvas and I'm going to be doing a pseudo swipe much like the one we did on Christmas Day for the poinsettia but this one is inspired by Catherine the Paint and she did some stunning sunflower resin coasters and that is actually the name of the video you should go check out. Go to Catherine the Paint and check out stunning sunflower resin coasters. I will have a link to that video in the description. That is what this is inspiring. I'm going to try and do something similar to the poinsettia, but doing a sunflower instead. And we've got a variety of colors. I have got a lot of custom colors. So we're gonna go through that and uh, I'll try and stamp this for you. If you don't want to hear about all the colors and everything, you can go ahead and just skip forward. But for those who want to know what colors we're using, stick around. Here we go. Let me move that out of the way. And the first one is Yellow Oxide by Golden Fluid Acrylics. So that's that one. Let's see, put that over here. And I also put in a little bit of yellow, Artist Loft um, yellow ochre into that one also. Um, and, <laughs> they're so custom. And I also, in this one, put Pearl Golden Hour. So it's a mix of these three. That's this one here. And then, and these are all mixed with my pouring medium which is Elmer's School Glue, 70%, mixed with 30% hot tap water and shake into the point of insanity. Now this one, this one is deep yellow, and with that, I also mixed some of the Arteza Pearl Golden Hour with that also. So, that is that one. This one is the only one that isn't a custom color. Well, besides burnt umber. Um, this one is Quinacridone Nickel Azo Gold. I love this. Um, I left the cup here so you could see the magic it does. If you see, you can see how the shades go from like a deep orange to a bright yellow. It's just really pretty. I really love this stuff. So that's why I didn't mix anything in with it to try and make it sparkly or anything else because I don't want to take a chance of ruining any of the magic that happens when this stuff is swiped. Alright, then we have this one. This one is Golden Fluid Acrylic Burnt Sienna and to that I added, where is it? Here it is. I added a little bit of Pearl Tangerine Orange by Arteza, and it made this beautiful kind of brownish coppery color, really pretty. So yeah, that was these two. Arteza, Pearl Tangerine Orange, Golden Fluid Acrylic, Burnt Sienna. This one is just Liquitec Basics Burnt Umber. You got that. This one is a custom color also. This was made with first mixing the Benzamidazolone Yellow Medium by Golden Fluid Acrylics with Golden Fluid Acrylics Ultramarine Blue. And then once I got a really pretty deep green shade that I liked, I added to it the Arteza Pearl Olive Green. And you can 
This came out really pretty and it's got kind of a gold shimmer highlight to it, which I really love. Okay, then this is just plain old Pearl Cactus Green by Arteza. And that one's got more of a bluish tinge to it, tint to it. Really pretty. Then this one is Arteza Pearl Pastel Green and to that I added a couple of drops of the Yellow Oxide by Golden Fluid Acrylics and it kind of deepened it, gave it a little bit more of a yellow hue and it's really pretty. There we go, those are our colors. Our base color is going to be Artist Law Flow White mixed with Sergeant Art Acrylic White mixed with Sergeant Art, there it is, Acrylic Pearl me Mixing Medium. That will be our base coat. Now our swipe is going to be the Amsterdam Oxide Black mixed with three parts pouring medium instead of just two parts pouring medium. So, okay, I will clean this all up, get stuff in order. When we come back, we can go ahead and start painting. Woohoo! Okay, now first, okay, I've got my base coat down, and now what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna do the center of the sunflower. Then after that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the outer edge and I'm going to do the green leaves. Then I'm going to go around the dark center and create the leaves, the, the petals, the yellow petals, and try and swipe them over and mix them within the green leaves. So, okay, hopefully this works. Wish me luck and we'll turn on some music for you and speed things up a bit. Okay, I'll see you at the end.
Okay, I have scraped this a few times trying to make it work and I have decided I'm going to change up the technique a little bit. And I don't think I'm going to put down a base coat. I don't. I think I'm just going to try and swipe it on the dry scraped. And we'll see. You know? You don't know unless you try. But Okay, so we've scraped and we're going to redo this and we're using the same colors as we were before.
sunflower inspired pour. I finally got it to go. Yay. I <laughs> knew it just took a dry canvas instead of one with a base coat on it. Oh, that was rough. I think I scraped three times trying to do it with a white base coat and it was just going nowhere. Going nowhere. So, cool. I really like how this turned out. Here is an abstract sunflower. Look at that lacing. Mm -mm -mm. Love it. Love it, love it. Okay, I'll take you down for a close-up. Check that out. Oh, let me turn my flash off, if I can. Okay. Sorry about the ring light and the overhead lights. came out really cool. Here, let me try that one. Okay. There's our center. You can't see the shimmer. Man, it's there. There is a lot of shimmer in this. can't wait to see it dry. I'll see you in a little bit. There it is. Check it out. Sorry, it was pretty cloudy here today, so wasn't able to really show it outside. But it does have a really nice shimmer, a nice shine to it. So. But yeah, I am really, really happy with this. It dried wonderful. Really nice. Very, very nice. Okay, guys. I'll see you next time. Loves and hugs, y'all. Bye!